You know, speaking of film and television, I was just thinking about this this week. Hmm. Do you remember? Do you remember the, when Steve Irwin died? Do you uh, guys remember the, the croc, croc hunter? You remember the, the croc, croc hunter? hunter? Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking about this. I remember when Steve Irwin died. I remember that day. Yeah, oh, that's the, that's the sentiment. I remember that day, and I remember seeing that little crawl across the bottom of CNN that said Steve Irwin had died. And I remember just moping around the house. Like, my wife and I, all day long, were like, oh, Steve's dead. What are we going to do? I don't know. I don't know why this day's going to be terrible. Steve's gone. How are we going to live life? And then I got to thinking about that for some reason just recently, and I was thinking about exactly that. Why were we so invested in him? Like, what was it about him that made us really interested in what he had to say? And I was thinking, you know, he was so animated, right? He was so adamant. He was so effusive about his favorite subject, which happened to be animals. And I thought to myself, what if, what if we were that way, right? I mean, what if we were that excited? What if we were that on fire about our spiritual walk, for example? If so, Colossians 3, 1 through 4 might look something like this. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Crikey! Set your hearts on things above, not on earthly things. For you died. You died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, you also will appear with him in glory. <laughs> Take a look at that guy. I recognize that specimen. He's really, 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 really dangerous. <laughs> I've seen his kind before. He's a little bit tricky. You have to be very, 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 very cautious when approaching him. I know he's kind. He's a little dangerous. You have to take the utmost care when you're approaching this kind of guy right here. I know he's kind. He's tricky. Boom. I recognize his specimen. This one is a Christian, and he's a beaut. Last time we did this, Ryan duct taped me and put me in the back of a pickup truck, okay? I told you no guarantees. Yeah. But it guys, if we, if we really are Christians, if we really are followers of Jesus Christ, if we've, if we've proclaimed to the world that we've made this decision to follow him, then the Bible tells us that we're already dead to the things of this world, and our lives are now hidden with Christ in God. In Hollywood, where Chris and I work, we run into a, a lot of directors many of whom believe they are God. Ours, Ours is. is. Because of this, we need to be absolutely certain that the things that are not honoring to God, the things that are not glorifying to God are edited, if you will, out of our lives before they turn into actions. Be real, be obedient, and be used by God. What you say and do every single day is important. You, you may, may be, be the, the only, only Bible, Bible some people will ever read. read.